Yeah, so I'm in the car with, you know, BB3, oh, yeah. Big Ben. Benny Hustle, man. Benny Hustle, man. What's going on with you, man? Man, you know, I just got back from the A. So right now, I'm just back doing what I do best. Being out here active in the hood, <laughs> through the city. Most definitely, most definitely, man. Um, so what would you just playing, man, on the radio? Uh, that was on um, my track called Moon Rock Vibes. I'm going to run it back. Let y'all hear a little sample. Smoking this moon rock. New release, man. Moon rock vibe. Y'all working on me, don't worry. Shit, oh, that moon rock. Drop on October 25th. Gangsta and the gentleman. Ooh. Ooh. Palace. I can't make no nigga be cool with me. No, I can't. I can't make no one bitch be cool with me. No, not one bitch. I gotta stop letting little shit get to me. I gotta stop it. The devil on my back tryna save my pain. In the dark place, them is pitch black. My heart breaks when I think about to get it back. Lost respect for some people, they can't get it back. God been working on me, just know that. Woke up early this morning, caught the sunrise. I thank the Lord every day, I open my eyes. All this anger in my heart, I can't even smile. I've been under pressure, never through in the time. For my kids, I go the distance, nigga, a hundred miles. Gotta watch for the snakes, niggas, reptiles. Can't be too nice, don't get too many tries. I got the game on lot like some shit ties. She trying to play with her nose, I didn't bring the sauce. My life turned around, I learned how to play golf. Free my niggas fighting cases, hope they get off. Popping bottles up top, city view lost. They embrace me in the A, they gon' push me up. Ran into a couple plugs, man, that shit was clutch. I've been focused on progression, I didn't grew so much wood. Train my kids, love for shit, no matter what. When the world was shut down, I ran up now. Look at me now, I'm good, both my kids fine. It's a lot of niggas, man, I made it out the hood. And if they ask how I'm doing, tell them I'm good. I can't let no nigga get to me. No, I can't. <laughs> I can't let not one bitch get to me. No, not one bitch. I gotta stop letting little shit get to me. I gotta stop it. The devil on my back trying to see my Man, so tell me a little bit about that, man. So where you get that name from? You feel me, Gangsta and the Gentleman? Oh, man. I just like explaining my whole character and my whole, my whole life, you know what I'm saying? I was raised by a gangster, you know what I'm saying? I turned out to be, you know what I'm saying, a gentleman. He taught us how to be a man, you know, it just fit in all those kind of categories. Not saying gangsta is out here killing. Yeah. You know? But just moving with some morals and principles. Yeah. Why you do things. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, okay. So I got another question for you, man. So the production on this was like on like somewhere like spatially like <laughs> Little bro say juice. What'd you say? Juice, juice world? Man, hey, I'm gonna go even more older than that. It reminds me like some kid cuddy, like Okay, yeah. You feel me? Like on some like kid that. cuddy My type vibe. Hell yeah. So so what sparked that, you feel me? Uh, I actually was just Blowing on some moon rock, and I, I heard that beat. And when it first came on and shit, I just heard it saying, I heard it talking to me. It was like, I can't let no nigga get to me. Yeah. So I was like, oh shit, <laughs> I'm in my zone, I try to sing on this beat. Yeah. And then that's when I was, um, I was like, I didn't know what to call it. So I'm like, fuck it, I'm high off the moon rock. That's all I was smoking in the air. So I'm like, then the engineer was like, call it Moon Rock Vibe. Yeah. So I got a question for you, man. So what's the difference between Moon Rock and like, you feel me, Gelato? You feel me? Like, what's the difference, man? <laughs> it's a big difference. The difference is this shit got like Keith with it. You know, we got some um wax and we use Zaza's weed. So it's all infused. You know what I'm saying? Oh, dope, dope, it ain't dope. just one, you know what I'm saying, one weed, and then it's always different. You know, we can use cookies, we can use gelato, moon rock, whatever we want. Yeah. That's what make it different from all the other shit. The other weed is just weed. This shit right here is, you know, we took some time and we made it with, with other products with high THC. <laughs> Shout out to my nigga J-Rock.
Okay. Right, cause um, it's FedEx and get it all, uh, everything printed out. I see you been getting global, man. Like you, shit, shit, you been in California, Atlanta, and then you going on from the north to the south to the east to the west. Uh -huh. Man, so what's up with that, man? You feel me being able to see, you know, the coast, the south? Has that been playing a big impact on the music that you've been making? Hell yeah. Um, that's actually a good, a good question because it actually do. It put me in better vibes. You know, I get to see different yeah. parts of the world. So like some of my favorite rappers, I get to see what they see, get to live how they live. Like when I'm in Atlanta, I'm in Bankhead, so I'm in TI area, so I always try to, you know what I'm saying, like see the, the accomplishments and how far he is, and just to see the area he in. Like it's, I'm like, damn, you gotta respect them niggas more because it's, it's yeah. they got they come from big cities. So it, it just make me want to go harder with my writing and stuff. Also, seeing that you was at Magic City, man. So mm -hmm. in comparison, what is Magic City like to like a a Detroit strip club? You feel me? Um, shit. Only difference. That it was is they play a lot more Atlanta music. But you know they still got the baddest chicks. They they was open until three. And um they opened at ten, you know. I don't know what time our strip clubs open here, probably about eight or nine or something. But um it wasn't really no difference. They had some bad, you know, some beautiful women, some bad bitches. Yeah, I gotta say it, they had some bad bitches in there. <laughs> for sure, it was for lit, sure. it was lit. For sure, for sure. Oh, um, I went on a Wednesday on my birthday, but they say Mondays, you know, like we heard in the songs and shit, Gucci and say. Yeah. So I got to go back on a Monday. So when it comes down to Atlanta, what's the biggest thing that caught you by surprise? That you would say, like, the music or uh, Instagram or Facebook ain't really show you, like, just yeah. coming from Detroit, going down there, what's the biggest thing that caught you by surprise? Mm, just, like, the platform, I guess, like, the landscape and how they, how they live there, like, it's, it's a lot of slopes. A lot of people live on like hills and you know dunked off like with roads where it ain't really no sidewalks and shit like that. So like it's wild though, you know, easy for somebody to get popped quick and just pull off, you won't even know. It's gonna take a long time for the police get their type of shit. Yeah. And I ain't really yeah, that's really about the landscape, because when I walk to the store, you either walking down here or you either walking up here sometimes. Everything is at a different level there and shit. So and growing I, up in Detroit kinda of prepared you for going down there? Yeah, in a way. Cause you know we we always we always watching out. That's how we got to be here in our hood. You got to watch over, watch over your shoulder, watch every car that ride past. Shit, that just that's how it is down there. But I feel like down there they embrace you more. They embrace everybody more because they used to people being known in their city and stuff. Yeah. So they used to showing love in our city. Not too many people make it out. So the ones who did make it out, they got killed. Niggas be hating and shit. You know, yeah. they see that a lot of people make it out there. So they ain't you know used to them. So chime in on that, man. So what the Southern hospitality like in yo, mm. you feel me? Like, if you had to get your opinion, is it real Southern hospitality or? I put on 20 pounds down there. It's real Southern <laughs> hospitality down there. They, they cook good. They treat yeah. you good. You know, everybody. Only people I ran into that was crazy is like the, you know, they got, every, every place got um, homeless where, you know, it's a lot of homeless people at. Yeah, downtown, when I was down in Atlanta, Atlanta yeah, by it's Magic City. Yeah. It's All it. in there. <laughs> yeah, I was over here. Over Peace here. Street area, everywhere. Like the cater homeless people so you got a lot of people out there begging there's way more people here begging than here and i see that for sure for sure for sure so when it come down to the whole shopping and whole fashion part mm -hmm. you notice a big difference yeah it's a big difference i went down there and told them told the mall down every time like, <laughs> real though each mall like they got shit here that you might see you know at the boutiques and shit I ain't gonna tell they secret and shit, but yeah, they got shit. Yeah. <laughs> I see shit down there and shit, but like, so like they get shit new. Like I get different shoes and shit that I brought back here. People say they never seen them and shit. Like this one pair I had, this one nigga was like, nigga, I seen those on the video game, nigga. They some eyeballs. So like they got different shit, I guess, in some of the stores. That's real, that's real. So when it come down to the to the new album, the new body of work, man, uh -huh. Gangsta and the Gentleman. Is there any track, like an eye opener track that was not, not as you would say, like you know, the, the turn up, not for the ladies, but it was more so for the story. Okay. You feel me? Can you speak on that a little bit? Is it a for the story song on there that we could be looking forward to? And what story should they be checking for? I'm gonna say, um, I gotta quote my homie Nip. He was saying like political rap is smart. Yeah. So shout out to YG. But um, I got a song I just did called BLM, Black Lives Matter. 
and I basically told a story. And, um, you know, it's my story. And, you know, I'm from the hood, you know, where it's, it's all happened that black people getting killed. So I just, I ran with that. And uh, I'm gonna actually play a little bit of it and shit. Oh yeah, this is an exclusive, y'all. Yeah, this is exclusive. That shit a key they don't like me. They don't like us. <laughs> it ain't shit you can do when they creep up. Now, if it's money on the floor, I'ma sweep up. If you don't like me, nigga, speak up. You got a problem with troll, you won't be us. They don't like me. They don't like us. Police killing us. They say fuck us. They don't get no peace until we get justice. So a lot of your music is about how you be, you know, feeling in the moment. Yeah, I'm at the vibe, how I'm sitting there. Cause like how sometimes when I like write a song in the studio, after I hear it, you know, I might not even like it. Or before I even get to the studio, when I'm rewriting some shit, I might read it and not like it, you know. Yeah. I might be like, what the fuck I was on at this time? And I was, I was in. So do you ever get like writer's block? Hell yeah, I had that shit for like a good week and a half down there, nigga. I had to shake the 